subscribe and join the Hoho family. After all the traveling, we were just so hungry and we headed to the nearest ramen place that we could find for dinner. After dinner, we headed to OK, which is a supermarket for some grocery shopping. The amount of items that we bought was a lot, but believe me, it just lasted for like two nights. Going to the supermarket is definitely cheaper than to the convenience store. We went different ways for day two. Shira went back home, while John and I, we did some exploration of our own. Ordering our food from the vending machine. Yeah, John is deciphering because I can't read. Which is what? These are all soba. This, uh, this, okay. this yellow one is all soba. But what's the difference? Ah, uh, no. The one with meat. This is Hewajima soba. In Japan, they have a lot of these vending machines where you just put in the money, you order your food, you grab a ticket, and then you go straight in to collect your food. So with the ticket, we'll just go in and get our food. Hot soba. Perfect way to start Japanese morning. Yeah. We've entered and we paid our tickets at the vending machine. The brochures are basically all in Japanese as well, and there is no volunteer who can bring us around. I'm just trying to spot this bird. They're all the same to move about. Let us head to this observatory hut to observe some birds if possible. Unable to spot wild birds in section 1, we head over to the other section and we saw a guy apparently spotting birds. We went over and we couldn't see any, so I guess it's just us. To enter and embrace Japan's summer sun. Sagi Ko is small. Later, so what we saw was the green. I, I don't wanna, I see the big color, I'm not sure. I... Oh my gosh. We headed to this huge observation tower and we saw lots of birds just chilling by the riverbank or something like that. There were crabs at the mud flats. We were just one with nature and it was a fun experience I guess. John and I took a rest back at the Airbnb because this was just so hot and we came out again for dinner nearby just trying a random chain store and oh gosh it was so good Day 3 and we headed to Yokohama Sea Paradise. It was quite a journey and the cost of transportation was pretty expensive but we had a great time. Jellyfish. 
Sea Paradise has four attractions, so we literally spent the whole day here from morning to night. Penguins here seem to be interested in people, which was rather unique, I must say. We head up to the second level, we took the escalator and we were greeted by a wonderful tunnel view of the sea creatures. It was really peaceful and magnificent. We just watched the shows of sardin. I think they were Japanese sardin just swimming peacefully. And it was an amazing experience. Look at the yellow fillers, how cute are they? The creatures here really seem to love cameras. 